For this activity, what I want you to do is you're going to try each problem, uh, putting together what you learned about the integer operations and what you know from the previous chapter about solving equations. How when we want to get the variable by itself, we have to do the opposite. You're going to put all that together, uh, and you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to pause the video and then play it to watch me solve it. Um, and I'll give you some explanations as you go. Then, when you're uh, done watching, you wouldn't need to go back and fix your work. And you can, you can rewind the video, you can do whatever you need to do to make sure that you get these problems perfect. Pay very, very close attention to your form. And make sure that everything's lined up, because with negatives, it's very easy to miss something. The other thing that's going to be crucial here are your check steps, because that's another chance for you to do the math again and make sure that you didn't miss something the first time. So. What I want you to do right now is pause the video and on a piece of paper do that first equation right there, y minus 8 equals negative 2. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you your explanation. So for y minus 8 equals negative 2, first thing, subtraction, the opposite is to add 8. Now we have y equals negative 2 plus 8. They're the opposite, they're different signs, so we have negative 2 uh, plus 8 equals 6. I'm just going to plug it in right here. 6 plus negative 8, negative 2. It works out. All right. Uh, pause the video and then try this next one. Negative 8 plus x equals 4. Well, for this one, uh, the opposite of addition is to subtract. But be very close attention to what we're subtracting. We're not subtracting 8. We're subtracting negative 8. Subtracting a negative, we're getting less negative, which means we're getting more positive. 4 plus 8 is 12. Now we're going to plug in 12 for x. We have negative 8 plus 12, and we're going to see if that equals 4. Well, those are different signs, so they're working against each other. And negative 8 plus 12 does equal 4. Pause the video, and now you're trying 3 plus x equals negative 8. Make sure you go back and fix the, well, the stuff that you did wrong. All right, for this one, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So we have negative 3 minus 8. That's the same thing as negative 3 plus negative 8, uh, which gives us negative 11. We're getting more negative there. So on the check step, plug in negative 11, and you should see that the two sides become equal because 3 plus negative 11 is negative 8. Go ahead and fix whatever work you need to, and uh, hit play when you're ready. All right, next problem is 40, negative 42 equals negative 6 times a. Multiplying by negative 6 is the same thing as dividing by negative 6. You need to be careful here because a lot of times people will forget and they will um, they'll divide by 6 and not negative 6. So we get negative divided by negative is a positive. Uh, and then we're going to plug in negative 6 times 7 and make that negative 42. And because that negative times a positive means we're repeatedly adding that negative number. All right, next problem. n divided by negative 3. Go ahead and try that. Hit play when you're ready. All right, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 3. 13 times negative 3. We cancel out that side. 13 times negative 3, positive. 13, 3 times is negative 39. There we go. Negative 39 divided by negative 3. Negative divided by a negative. That is a positive. Notice how I'm doing the sign separate from the division. 39 divided by 3 is 13. So there we go. All right, go ahead and pause. Next, video, next problem is negative 2x minus negative 7 equals negative 13. All right, for this one, first step we need to add the negative 7 so that we get the like terms together. Negative 13 and the negative 7 are like terms, so we get rid of it on one side, bring it to the other. All right, bring negative 2x down, and then we're just doing negative 13 plus negative 7. We're getting more negative, so that's negative 20. And now it's just divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 20 divided by negative 2 is positive 10. Now plug positive 10 back in, and we're going to do the math. And we're going to evaluate. Uh, because if we're, we're not careful, we might mess up a sign here. So first thing to do is subtract that negative 7, which is the same thing as getting more positive. Uh, so we have negative 20 plus 7, because uh, we multiply before we add. And negative 20 plus 7, well, the 7's pulling it back towards 0, so it's getting a little bit more positive. 
um, but not all the way, so it's still negative 13. For the next problem, you're going to do y divided by 4 plus negative 2. Go ahead and pause, and when you're ready, hit play again for the last one. All right, so here the opposite of adding negative 2 is subtracting negative 2. Make sure you're subtracting negative 2 and not 2. Common mistakes there. All right, then on the other side, that's the same thing as adding a positive 2 and bring down the y divided by 4. Don't multiply by 4 on that same line. We talked about that. One bit of math per line. And then we're just going to multiply both sides by 4. y equals 40. Plug that back in for y. So we can do our check step right here. 40 divided by 4 plus negative 2. Well, 40 divided by 4 is 10. 10 plus negative 2. We have a positive plus a negative, so then they're working against each other. It's going to pull it back towards 0, but not all the way to the negatives. So negative 8 equals 8. All right, you're going to try a couple more problems here and uh, from your book, and uh, then tomorrow we'll be dealing with uh, inequalities. Your homework for tonight will be a set of five-word problems.